Hi Cancer, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Show me uh, the person on Cancer's mind. Show me what they're hiding from Cancer. So the person on Cancer's mind, show me what they're hiding from Cancer. Okay, so this person is hiding the fact that they're heartbroken, um, just wanting to be single and um, holding back from telling you that. It's like they're not opening up. They feel that you should intuitively pick up on the fact that they're not wanting a commitment or that they are heartbroken. This could be a situation with the two of you, like they feel this pain um, and just kind of working on their money. Page of Swords in reverse, though. Not spying on you. Not wanting to talk about things. No, no, no. Like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to say anything. I just want to move on. Um, that's difficult because if they're not dealing with it and they think they're fine, but they're feeling this pain, it's going to come out differently later on. You know, it's just going to kind of overflow. Um, and like I said, that high priestess, I feel like they're keeping it a secret because they're like, you should just notice or you should know. So let's clarify this three of swords. Yeah, they're going through a painful situation here and they're reevaluating things. They're like assessing why things don't work out per uh, past a certain point or that they've only gotten so far um heartbroken also with waiting like this they've been feeling this heartbreak and in this waiting they're realizing that something isn't growing the way that it should or didn't grow the way that it should there's a lot of sadness sleepless nights and some depression here um for this person so let's go ahead and clarify this nine of pentacles The Eight of Swords and then the King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So this person's like, I'm fine, but really they get stuck in their thoughts. Um, and being stuck in their thoughts can make them start to act cold or, you know, think about things where they're not really discussing it. Um, they also get upset. I feel like this King of Swords, you know, they'll get in their mind and then they'll like push themselves out of no don't be negative like that you know trying to do the right thing and not be stuck in their head over the situation and and why are you heartbroken why is this feeling so difficult and don't let it be so difficult so let's go ahead and clarify that page of swords in reverse here The Knight of Swords. This person's pretty upset. Um, they rush towards battle, you know, like ready to fight. Um, coming in really quick. The Page of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if they're going to message you. It feels like they're not. Like, I don't want to talk about anything. And then all of a sudden it just gets, like I said, it's an overflow of like, all right, I'm upset. I'm going to say something. Um, there's also like, they don't have, what they want to tell you is not nice. Um, like what they have to tell you is not good news. It might cause some problems. It's also that they, they're upset. They're mad. 
um, maybe you're doing fine without them or they're just mad like I haven't heard from you something like that so let's go ahead and get some messages i do see this person being stuck in their head about like what they believe to be their reality and then quickly realizing that's not their reality um with that king of swords that came out like no you know make it make sense um okay Let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. So give me three messages plus one bonus message from this person on Cancer's mind. I feel like this is not directly related to you, but more so like something they're going through personally, but it could be. They're going through a difficult, difficult time. Okay, so... First thing that comes out, we were too different from each other. This is something that they started to assess. And it just is like it was never going to work in their mind. They didn't know how it was going to work. If this was something like you called it quits, they're like, yeah. It's almost like they're accepting if that's the case. If you called it quits, like we were too different from each other. It was never going to work. I realize that now. Um, but it bothers them, really bothers them. So there's that. Then you deserve so much better than me. This is something where they get in their head about their own insecurities. They'll come off very confident, but then in their mind, they will start to feel like everything is going to go wrong and they create like the worst case scenario. You know, that's usually what it is like being stuck in your head about this could go wrong. That could go wrong. It's not going to work, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know why they're with me. They deserve someone better. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, than them, but they're probably wonderful. You know, they were probably wonderful. Um, maybe it just didn't work out between the two of you. Sometimes relationships clash and it's like, oh, we're not right for each other in a relationship, but we were better off friends or acquaintances, you know, or, you know, we're better off in a relationship instead of being just friends. Um, it just depends on the people, the chemistry, the energy, you know, and what you're bringing to the table. Like, can you meet each other halfway? Can you make, um, can you make changes for each other and accommodate each other's needs? And, you know, sometimes things don't work out and it, it's okay. It's all right. There is a plan for you. There's a plan for me. There's a plan for all of us, you know, and sometimes it's not the plan we want and then we hold on so tight you know, but once we release, then that, you know, what's supposed to flow in our life happens. So I want you to move on without me. That is something difficult for this person, but it's like, this is what they want to tell you. Um, and they rush in to tell you, like, I just, I can't do this. I want you to move on without me. You know, um, don't wait for me. I'm going through a lot you know, they're holding back from telling you this, but it's coming, like, it's just building in this person and it's going to come out and it might not come out the right way. Um, I'm broken without you. So without you, they feel broken, but they just don't, I'm not seeing them want to fix anything right now. I'm just seeing them like, you know, it's fine. Just move on. You deserve better. We're too different. This wasn't going to happen. I don't know how to make this work. And this person likes to be alone because they feel safe alone. They feel like I'm better off when I'm alone and I have my animals or I have my animal, I have my dog, I have my cat, I have my whatever. You know, some people have exotic animals, um, my iguana, <laughs> but you know, they, they feel comfortable when it's just them because they can't get hurt. The only person that can hurt them is them. Um, but they, it seems like they started off with, with you, started off with, I don't know if this is going to work. What if I can't keep this? So it's like they weren't um, trying to find the courage in the beginning. They were already having the doubt. But you are so sexy to me. I think that's something that, you know, um, they're intimidated by. But that intimidation attracts them like to you, like, oh my gosh, your, your sex appeal that you have, you know, everything about you, cancer is incredibly attractive to this person. And it's also intimidating to them because they feel like, what if, you know, you could be with anybody, why would you want to be with me? You know, um, it's, it's 
almost like they feel they're not good enough or they don't know how to hold on to you. There's also the fact that if they have these insecurities and they get in their mind a lot, it could come off in a jealous way. They don't want you to see that side of them in that way. Um, you know, and they don't want to feel that jealousy. You know, if someone's like, hi, or helps you with something and they're like, what are they doing? You know, that's, that's something within them that they have to work through. But I just see this person constantly having a reason to push you away, but also tell you like you deserve better, um, in a kind way. It's like, they're kindly pushing you away, but wanting you, like you're incredibly attractive to them. So it's not that you don't have what they're looking for. It's just that they aren't sure. I feel like they're going through a lot. That's, that's on them, you know? Um, and being broken without you, if they want to come back around and, and talk to you, they know where to find you. And I get this feeling like your door is, you know, kind of open or they can at least knock at your door and see, but you're not going to wait forever. And I don't feel that you're waiting. I feel like you're doing what you need to do in life and you keep going. Um, nothing's stopping you, but this person, um, you know, they'll miss their opportunity or they'll fix it. It's up to them. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.